I'm not saying okay, guys, this time. You're all here, so I don't need to. Yeah, I know, but I didn't say it like as it's in the automatic. All right. Okay. All right, with this one, you've got the, you've got the formula y equals 3x minus 2, and we're going to draw it. We're going to draw the graph, but we're not going to do table values. We're just going to use the gradient and the y-intercept to actually draw it. I can't start. We can't concentrate. I haven't said OK, guys. OK, guys. <laughs> All right. First thing we've got to do is find the gradient. Now, the gradient is always the coefficient of x. So, Katie, what is it? Three. Awesomeness. Oh, look. That's me, not writing. OK. Y-intercept. Is it two? Negative two. Someone want to slap Dylan upside the head? Minus two. OK. Don't forget, you always take the sign. OK. All right. I'm just going to zoom in on this so it's easier to see. All right. Levi, tell me, where am I going to put my first point? Okay, I need you guys to focus on this for a second. If we have a look back up there, we've got a y-intercept of minus 2. I've zoomed in, so it's a bit fuzzy, but I've zoomed in so it's easy to see my points. Okay, we've got a y-intercept of minus 2. What does that mean? What does y-intercept mean? Where it intercepts y. The y... Where Axis. Axis. Okay. That big line that goes up and down. Okay, so it intercepts over there. And where do we have to go, Kirby? Excellent. Go down to minus 2. Hey, look, put a dot there. So that's our first point. Minus 2. It's 0 minus 2. So that's our y intercept. Everyone happy with that? We haven't drawn any, uh, we haven't uh, drawn a table of values. We've just taken the numbers that are in the equation. Now, what's the gradient? Gradient is 3. What does that mean? What does the gradient mean? That's the rise. It's the rise over run. It's the steepness. So 3, so, so three over 1. So what does that mean? So we go over 3 to go up 3 and go up 1. Okay, I'd normally go across 1 and up because I always do horizontal first. Oh, you go. Your gradient is 3. You've got to go 2 and 3. You've got to go to the building before you can go into it. Uh, up it. Okay? <laughs> You're a mother. Um, gradient is 3. What does the gradient mean? It's rise over run. So you've got 3 over 1. So you do your run across. 3 over 1 is a fraction. Is 3. Is 3. Yeah? Because gradient is always expressed as a fraction, but if it's a whole number, we're lazy, we don't put the over 1 bit. Okay? So we've got to go across how many to go up how many? Rise over run. Across one. Okay, we're going to go across one. So from zero, we're going to go across one. How many do we go up? Three. Which means we're going to be where? One, one. One, one. And then do the same. Do we need to do it again? Yes. Why? How many points does it make to make us take to make a straight line? Two. Four. Two. Three. If you've got two points, you can draw a straight line between them. If you've got three, you can check and make sure your line is straight and that you're doing everything correctly. But if it's just a straight line, you only need two points to set a line. So I can now go up to this wonderful thing up here. Uh, yes, you now draw them. Oops, wrong button, sorry. <laughs> Having shocker. Okay. Ladies. Ladies, once you've drawn your line, once you've joined your points, what's the last thing you have to do with any graph? Those of you who were here yesterday, you should remember it. Thank you. It does look massive. Once I zoom out, it won't look so massive. And 
there you go. You're done. Now, they've drawn three points. You could have done an extra point. In fact, when I drew my line, I did actually go across and up to there to make sure I was doing it right. Okay? But that's all it takes, two points or three points, and you've got your line.